Hello everybody and in previous episode we have tackled briefly on how to make this cooling loop which I actually made now. It was just one error and that was with the relabeling. Everything else that you saw in the previous episode was fully and entirely correct. So oxygen critical. What did I do now? Oops. Yes. Nice way to start an episode. Remove your helmet and hope for the best. Well, fortunately enough, the reaction was swift. Anyway, now in this episode we will be actually more into building the other tools that I need. And that would be like tool man tools manufactory and others. And I think uh, recycler and centrifuge. So those are the things that I wanted to build. Uh, Seeing that I have this, I could actually, um, yeah, I don't want to use it just yet because I could use some cable coil. And I can do that assuming you have copper, which you actually have, and you're going to spit it out for me. Thank you. Do you have some copper? very little but still maybe enough for piping purposes tell you what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna return this here and let's take a look what kit are we missing we have the kit centrifuge what do we need for that iron and copper okay then we have kit uh, it's locker pipe recycler iron copper all right and so both need iron and copper and the last one is gonna be okay okay i'm gonna be and tool manufacturing iron and copper so plenty of copper needed and plenty of iron needed which one actually requests the least i think it's recycler right is it recycler no that's a 10 gram copper can it be the centrifuge you gotta be kidding me that would be funny yeah five grams of copper so if i could have three more grams i could build a centrifuge and I, of course, I had to spit out the wrong one. I had need 20 grams of iron and 3 grams of copper. Sold. I guess that's it. We're building a centrifuge. So, iron and copper. There we go. Gold you can keep for the time being. And I guess, yes, we are building a centrifuge. Uh, by the end of the episode, I hope to build all of those, but... Probably this would be the best approach. You know, just go with it and see how it works. While I'm doing that, I might need more iron, so I might as well smelt some here. And I'm gonna need to go mining actually for the copper, because I'm very short on copper. So I'm gonna, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to be taking that one as well. So no worries. Come on. Oh, soon it will be dawn. So I guess it will be a good time to harvest. Oh, there we go. Our centrifuge has been built. Now, centrifuge I could be placing here ish. And I do want to leave enough room for the cabling behind, so something along these lines perhaps. I don't want it too close to. I'm gonna leave some room actually for it. Somewhere like here-ish, kinda. 
yeah, and here might be the collection area for something or sorter of some sort. We have plenty of room. We need two steel sheet required to continue, but now it's daytime. So, and when it's daytime, that means I'm going actually for some R and R. So we are going for some mining. There is our base, and I might as well immediately change the battery so I'm not being bothered by it. Battery charger. Replace, please. Thank you. And you go back to refill. We can also check the state on our on our other batteries. I'm hoping that they're slightly better than they used to be because I'm not using that much consumption and okay well at least oh this one is on three one one I don't know why are those on one and this one was on three but hey they are all on oh no that, no this one is on two good I guess that means that they're being charged they're just not probably a excess power for them to be charged too fast right uh, now I need steel sheets for the centrifuge. I think I had some iron glass sheets. Iron wall. Flare. No, I don't think so. Okay, so steel sheets. For that I need steel. Well, duh. I think I have steel here. Yes, and plenty of it. So, spit it out, Sonny. Steel, thank you. And once again, this solder I'm putting you here. Thank you. And auto lathe, steel, steel sheets. I think they said I needed two. So, two steel sheets it is. Perfect. Okay, two steel sheets and a wrench. Oh, I need my tool belt. Hold on, then I'm gonna do actually one more thing. I was smelting some iron here, right? Yes, so I'm gonna be smelting some copper here now. And do I have a pollutant tank or something so I could basically used to not not the steel sheets but uh, copper oh thank you okay so that that yes and then that that there you go so now i can safely tuck away my mining belt and I can place it back here and I can store you away. Thank you. And this tank, I wonder what's in this portable tank. It seems empty. So I'm going to actually use the wrench to disconnect you from here and put you to a good use, Sonny. You're going to go to capture the gases. I could actually smelt copper here. Right, 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 right. I could actually do that that way. Then it would be way more efficient and faster, I think. So let's give it a go. Uh, care to stand nicely, politely, pretty please. So, there we go, and, oh. <laughs> you know what let's fix this first there we go now I can actually deal with you portable tank yes perfect you're connected now 
I will need, what's that? Yeah, the pressure in here is nominal. So that's good. Uh, then we'll close this valve going from here. We're going to close oh, open this valve. We'll turn the volume pump on. And I need my, yeah, I need my mining belt again, don't I? All right. I still think it would be cool that we smelt copper. Well, we can actually then smelt pretty much a lot of things. Copper and some iron and some gold might as well do that. So uh, how much actually gold do I have? Do I need gold? Iron, steel, two grams of gold, solder. Yeah, I could use gold as well. So you go here. Or better yet, you go here. So I said that I need two volatiles. So split one and then split another. Thank you. Then you go back. So two volatiles, one oxide, split one. Thank you. Then you go back and you go back and then we said we're going to take copper copper then i'm going to take some gold and then i can take some iron as well hopefully i think that should give us plenty of stuff to smelt or actually I'm gonna leave one iron here I think that should be enough now let's do some smelting shall we first we said that we want to put in one oxide or yeah there we go it's processing then we're gonna be putting activate then we put two volatiles and then we activate and then we put copper and it's being processed so and i could use the volume pump on so that this gets charged and another there you go. Okay. Did you capture some gas? You did. Perfect. What's the pressure contents? Oh, I, I should have done that better, but okay. Well, at least I've gotten my copper ingot, which I need quite badly for the recipes. And I needed some gold as well, but I'll need to revisit this. I could have done all in one go. Well, split one, split two. There we go. And volatiles. There we go. And oxide. Split one. and we'll activate it again then we're going to be smelting some gold better than the art furnace anyway spit it out sunny yes and then iron perfect so you now feel free to suck up the rest of the contents from the furnace 
Now that's how you use your resources. So, uh, you have gold here? No, you don't. Good. I want to have gold in multiple places. And then iron, you have? You have iron, but you'll need more. There we go. Four stabilizer, six mining belt. Perfect. Now that this pump actually sucked this guy dry, we can might as well turn off the volume pump close down the valve and just vent the rest into the atmosphere what we don't need let's check the contents of this tank now so now instead of beacon I'll need an Atmos analyzer and I'm gonna swap it the tracker with Atmos analyzer return this one back thank you so what do you have inside? You have 383 moles of pollutants, CO2, N2, H2, O2, and literally no water. Okay, good. Uh, we're gonna keep you here and you should be airtight. You shouldn't be venting on anything else, should you? Should you? The temperature is dropping and why is the pressure dropping nothing should be oh right well now you shouldn't be releasing anything but the valves are closed here anyway so hmm no idea thinking of which I could now use to close this and uh, let's just see what's the how many moles of pollutants do I have here I have 19 moles of pollutants that's literally nothing so I should probably put more pollutants in mm, now so you six you f or now i need my wrench so i disconnect this guy there we go and then i drag it with me there we go come on chop chop now you shall be going here and you shall be going to our cooling system so you're gonna get disconnected thank you portable tank you shall be welded here qf connect there we go and then you shall be connected here there we go that's our filtering system and if I'm not mistaken this valve should be on pump should be ready filtering system should be on and volume pump should be on so in theory the pressure on this guy should decrease and the pressure on other guy should increase in terms of just pollutants yeah it's being sucked here and what is here i want to go no here it's mainly pollutant going 14 moles of pollutant so you are g g getting pressurized with lots of pollutants which is what we wanted in the first place great seems like our little filtration system is working flawlessly that's wonderful hey welcome to the show
we are building a centrifuge and this kind of couple of things here but uh, I figured I needed also something for my cooling system so as soon as you finished up your depressurization I'm gonna be putting my cooling stuff over there so come on and then I need to swap tanks obviously actually I can leave this guy here I can swap it later when I'll need it there we go now we're just up to 13 pascals and it's done which means you can get closed you can get closed and you can be off now perfect three four hundred moles of pollutants that will make for a nice cooling loop hopefully now there we go and now i need my tool belt to disconnect this tank thank you and i'm gonna drag it on my onto my cooling loop there we go and can i drag the portable tank yes i can wonderful here is by the way the the whole in logic of for circuitry for cooling oops almost fell there there we go now have we have this wired that should work flawlessly all right what do we need now to build the centrifuge? Welding torch and additional two steel sheets. Steel sheets and welding torch, I guess. There we go. Okay, you have plenty of copper and everything, so you're gonna need a welding torch there we go okay angled grinder required to deconstruct okay so we have the centrifuge and I'm guessing here's the import and here's the output good and then I want to be building a recycler next so we'll connect them probably in all in one go kit recycler re 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 recycler there we go and now we have everything that we need and while we're doing that you sunshine could be spitting out copper couldn't you but i never put that in i didn't think about it well what can you do so after you're done i'm gonna have this guy print wires like there's no manana no matter They certainly do take long to build. There we go. Oh no, please don't make another one. I'm gonna take you and I want copper from you. Copper, thank you. As for the rest, keep it please. you pumping out cables because I'm gonna need you to Hello. 
All right, and this is going to be output from this one. I want to make it an input to that one. So I'm going to be placing that one here. Or actually, that one is a little bit too far out. So this recycler is going to get a little closer. So it should be close to this guy like here and then i might connect these two via the chute or at least i'm hoping to so that's the recycler oh well that should be enough cables i guess thank you cable coils you don't say cable coil bonanza more cables and more cables thank you so just straight cables, eh? Building all the way. Come on. Here. And There we go. Cables, cables. Oh, nope, that shouldn't be a straight one. This should be actually. There we go. So let me just pick up this straight cables. This should be a junction. But the junction that's being placed in a different way. So I need to go around and place it, don't I? Oh joy. Uh, you're gonna go here and like that, except not like that, except not like that. Like that, yes, thank you. That's the word. Junction and I was even thinking to place another junction like this here because there are going to be more machines that will be connected up front and it makes no point for me to go behind all of them now does it actually it will look much nicer so I actually will need to ah, damn you OCD so there we go and Now, let's see, not three-way, not four-way, just a regular corner, nothing special. Yes, here you go, and here you go, yes. And as for you, oh, you are down that same way. Oh, then we, then we will make an exception, actually. Corner turned that way, and... Hold on. Then you definitely are going to be a junction. Not a four way corner, just a junction. There you go. That should power these two. And do I need anything for the shoot? If I want to build a shoot, I don't know which guy has the recipe for it. So, kit shoots. There you have, what do you need? Iron. And who has the iron? You have the iron and you have the iron. So everybody but you has the iron. Spit it out, Sunny, like a glove. So, iron. Uh, create the shoot, will you? Okay, and I think I'll try, I'm gonna try with two, two should be enough. I've never worked with shoot, so I have no idea what I'm working here with here. But, shoot straight, corner, junction, bin, outlet, inlet, window, straight. I am thinking straight probably, so straight from here and then straight 
in here or yeah so that would be directly feeding from this guy into this guy and uh, how it's going to work i have absolutely no idea but uh, yeah we're going to definitely give it a go let's give it a small test shall we let's take two old space helmets I'm really eager to see how it's gonna work. So, recycler on, centrifuge on. Space helmet, insert. Is it being recycling? I don't think so. It's as if they didn't have any power. Hmm. Strangely enough. They, they, they don't they just have enough power or they don't have power at all? Should have they. That's the power that's powering. But let's see if I can crank up the watts. 200 power low how about now power no decrease i have no idea what's wrong with that one charge full three let's put charge to this and i'm gonna just quickly check so Four. I have this guy then I have the network analyzer here I'm gonna be putting I'm sorry by the way guys for the emergency or something so four six oh what's the problem so unpowered and for actual potential required it's unpowered and why is it unpowered? Am I missing something here? I don't think so. Oh, I have an idea what might be wrong. This is only the data network, isn't it? Of course it is. So it has nothing to do with the power. Well, duh. Okay note to myself I'll have to get that one sorted out somehow which means I'll have to fix this one I'm gonna do here then cut the wire cut because this is data network we don't need the power here we actually are gonna deconstruct this to ensure that I don't make the same mistake twice so that's a heavy cable that I'm dragging from here down and if I drag a heavy cable this way then I could in theory drag the regular cable down and I, which is I think I'm something that I'm gonna be doing Uh, yes, guys, I think I'll need to, let me just see, heavy cables, yes, I'm going to take you, I'm going to join you, and then heavy cables, I'm going to just construct this way, hold on, but this is going to hurt, you, you, Oh, I still need the heavy cable going that way. So in inside, this might have not been the best solution ever. So, yeah, no. Put it back, put it back, ground forks. But then again, 
I don't need the corner here. Yeah, I'm gonna fix it like that. Not like this. And the generator, I think I have space to move one further down, yes. So I'm gonna be fixing it like this corner. There we go. And then you are going to go straight. You are going to go straight. And you we're gonna cut and you are going to become three-way junction here perfect while you sunshine we shall move all right so we shall move you thank you and put you much oops not you but you we shall put you rotate rotate there we go and put you somewhere closer here so that we have plenty of power going here on this bus so here i'm gonna be putting that cable yeah i think that would be a solution going forward oops wrong one heavy cable and you are here you should be corner fixed that's that is that heavy cabling fixed perfect now we need this other cabling situation fixed and i think i'm just going to drag it straight up here not through the back as i originally thought which means all this trouble I went to into constructing this can go straight to hell. You know what they say, fail, rinse, repeat, fail again. So, yeah. There we go. Much better. And then we move here and here and now we'll connect the cable going from here this shall become a three-way corner i think no this should be a junction here so junction that's gotta hurt junction yeah there we go reevaluate everything you know sonny And now straight, 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 and so it's still the data network I hope is untouched. I'm slightly worried how it's gonna look, but you never know till you try it. So there we go, and there we go, cutters, I'll need you and I'll need you so straight here and then finally junction there we go are you working with it and look we got copper we got gold back wonderful So they are working. We can now recycle our junk. Yeah, copper and gold once again. So cop gold and copper. Wonderful. I can actually recycle more of the suits. That will be just peachy. And not to mention all the other junk that we can recycle now. Oh, I feel so good. This this feels... I feel really proud. Now, come on. Recycle. And recycle. I should probably build a better, like a collection point or something. What's this? Iron ore. 
Perfect, look. Iron, copper. Okay, guys, I think this is a nice place to leave everything off. I'll be doing some more construction in the next episode, but until then, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like, as always, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. This is Ground Forks.